Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday to you. Um, the time changed, so I hope you guys are um, got all that figured out so that you're able to join me today. Today is a premiere video, meaning the video is pre-recorded, but the chat below is live. So if you are here, uh, say hello, give me a wave, a thumbs up, uh, make sure that you send me a little emoji, something to let me know that the video is actually going out. I'm actually in the chat below. And I want to say thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, if you saw my other premiere video, it was on Thursday. I'll link it in the iCard above and in the description below. Uh, I had another Goodwill and antique haul and something that I bought from a reseller. And today I have a Goodwill haul, like I said. It's very small but there is a kind of like a goodie bag in it and I wanna see what all is in there. I've kind of turned it a little bit to see, um, but we're gonna take it apart and see what's in there. So if this is your first time dropping by my channel, thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you have been a continued supporter, thank you so much for your continued support. My name is Beth and I love to thrift and I wanna show you what I got. Now I'm gonna try to do this one just like I did the other one. No editing straight through, so we shall see. It's a beautiful weekend here in Texas, and it's kicking off my spring break. So I am off all next week, y'all, and I am so excited. I don't get to really thrift a lot, but I am going to be cleaning out the garage, resetting a booth in Glen Flora, and working to fix up my storage building. So I have a lot planned. Let's see what I can get done. But today I want to share with you two Goodwill trips. I think I had, I had both of the receipts here a minute ago. Yep, here they are. The first one, I only got two items, y'all. Um, I think I went after work uh, one day and I decided to drop by. Uh, let me show you what I got. I picked up another Squishmallow. I got a Squishmallow and it was $2.99. I think both of these were $2.99. Now, I think this one is Daniel the Dinosaur. I could be wrong, but I think it's Danny the Dinosaur um, because he's got little, I guess a little Stegosaurus piece and he's got a little tail. Y'all, these Squishmallows are so stinking soft. So I really like these and you know what? I think this would be great uh, in an Easter basket. I thought this would be great for a little boy or a little girl's Easter basket, but super, super soft, y'all. Ugh, I've only found one other one and it was a smaller one. It was about this big um, and it was a cat on Valentine's Day. But this is really, really cute and um, I'm gonna put the comps up on the screen if I can remember to do that, don't hold me to that. Um, but if I can find some comps, I'll put them there. If I can't, y'all, it, it won't be there. Um, but I did think about bringing this to a live sale or a drop sale. I've got a drop sale coming up on Thursday, March the 16th. There are nine other YouTube resellers participating starting at five o'clock with Halen Vintage going all the way through 9.30, and these are Eastern times, uh, with uh, Vintage and Vino. And mine is at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got a whole bunch of people participating, and if you've checked out my Instagram or my community tab, it tells you the schedule and everything. So make sure that you join us for our next drop sale hop, and you would just hop from each channel to see their pre-recorded sale. So I did think about bringing this to a sale, um, either a drop sale or a live sale. I haven't decided, but I do think it would be great for Easter. Um, then, of course, I had to pick her up. Oh my gosh, y'all, it says princess. Now she doesn't have blonde hair, but she'll do in a crisis. Um, and this one, I think I looked up, I'm not sure. This is a Cuddle and Company by Russ. 
uh, right here and she is so darling. She's got a little fuzzy tutu and her little glitter slippers. I thought this would be darling in an Easter basket too. So I might bring these both to uh, a sale together. Now, like I said, I do have a drop sale coming up and we do host at least one of those a month. Um, and also I have live sales. Typically they are on Thursdays um, and sometimes on a Sunday we will put a live sale at that 11.30 a.m. Central Time. Uh, so if you are interested in claiming some items, go ahead and make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Hit the notification bell to all so you never miss a video upload, a premiere like this one, or a live event. So that's all I got at that Goodwill. Um, just those two plush, but I thought for Easter coming up and Easter baskets, that would be perfect. Now at the next one, I spent about $23 um, and got a wonderful mirror. Now I'm going to show you the mirror. Um, I cannot keep, sorry for the glare, I cannot keep mirrors in my booth. And I do believe that this is an antique or a vintage mirror based on the wood and based on the hanging um, and all that. It's in great shape. Uh, it is, it is in really great shape. You can see all my mess there, um, but it is no chips or cracks in the mirror or anything like that. And it's a really great size and it's a really great shape. Um, and it's in great condition, y'all. So I was excited to find that. I think I got the mirror for, it says, $4.99 purple, but I'm thinking that they charged I'm thinking y'all, honestly, oh no, it was $4.99 purple. That's right, this one was. I got several purple tagged items, and of course, purple was not the um, color of the week. Does your Goodwill do colors of the week, y'all? Like where you get a certain percentage of the color of the tag? Tell me in the in the chat below, because I was talking to somebody and they said they don't have colors of the week, that they just have discounts on certain days. Ours is a color of the week, 25% um, off some days, and then Wednesday, I think, through Saturday is 50% off. So, of course, those are the days that I like to go. So, that, I may not even do anything to that mirror. I may simply just put this in my booth um, because mirrors sell very quickly for me in my antique spaces in Glenflora, especially. Um, another little piece that I got, and I think I paid $2 for this, but I got this maybe for my tiered tray. It's a single shaker, but look at this cutie. It's a little cow. Um, has its little stopper. It's in great shape. Now, it was $2, but I think for my own home decor and using it um, on a tiered tray, I mean, this could go from spring, Easter, I mean, any of the times because it's got all the pinks and the yellows in there, um, and I just thought it was too cute, so I did pick that up as well. Um, and I love to do tier trade. I'll actually link a video above where I have um, done tier trade collabs. And I usually do those with my blessed nest. Uh, she loves to do tier trades and hers are really, really good. Uh, it's a great way to display all your littles. Let's see. Oh, I love this, y'all. Absolutely love this. Um, this is a purse. Now, I don't pick up purses a lot, mainly because I don't know a lot about the purses, but when I saw this, I thought it looked very boutique-like, and um, it is an embroidered purse with the flowers and the bicycle on there. I think this one was $6. It's got a beautiful pearl and jeweled little handle here. Um, it's a clutch purse, so you just pull this piece back and open it up. And the little shoulder strap was already in there. So basically, it's new. It's got a little iridescence in the material, but it's quilted on the inside. There was nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And I will probably have this at a live sale before it goes to... Um, the booth, and this one would probably go at the Bogle Sang Antique Emporium. Uh, they just have a little bit, 
it's a little smaller space. Um, and so I need some things about this size to fill up my space. But this is really, really pretty. It is one of the embroidered, and you can see the iridescence in the, in the fabric there. But it is one of the embroidered um, hard case. It is a hard case purse. Um, and they run about $30, I think. Um, but I am going to bring this to a live sale first, and then I'll put it in my booth. But I normally don't pick up purses, but I couldn't leave that one behind. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I thought it was pretty cute. All right, so the next thing that I got, and this is going to be super loud, y'all, super loud, was a bag um, of stuff. It's a bag of stuff. Um, and it was $7.99. Now, I think when I'm looking through the bag, if I'm right, I think this is an entire bag full of napkin rings. Now, I actually Marco Poloed Christine from Side Street Market and was asking her because she does a lot of uh, napkin rings, but she also deals a lot in brass. She likes brass and she has a lot of that in her Etsy and her eBay stores. I think that these are all, um, like I said, uh, what do you call those napkin rings? But I mean, some of these look like watering cans, so I, I have no idea. I did pay purple, I think it was purple $7.99. For this bag um, and this is what it looks like now I don't know what condition they're in I don't know how many there are in here but if these are little napkin rings those are darling so it is gonna be a little bit loud sorry and I'm gonna open it up and let's see what's in there so I want to go for these first I was wondering if it maybe had a little bird or something, but you could probably add maybe a bee right up here or a little bird or something. Um, and I don't know, I just see one. It's in really great shape, but for spring, oh my gosh, how cute would that be? So I know there's one of those. Um, this is, it looks like a watering can with some ivy on there. And it, I think this is a napkin ring. What do y'all think? Do you think that's a napkin ring as well? Um, this is, it's a, it's a little tin aluminum one. Also, there is, I think this is tarnished brass. Can y'all tell? I think it's tarnished brass. Doesn't have a sticker or anything on there. Tarnished brass or tarnished silver, I can't tell. Um, and it looks like it has that hammered effect to that. Can you see? So there's that kind. Here's another one of those. So those are a match. So there's two of those. Then there's this. This is brass, but it's different. It This one is a hammered. That's why I think this one might be silver plated. Um, and this one is surely brass, um, but it's a different design. Now this one is marked made in India. So there is a sticker. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see it, but right here it does say made in India. And I can't see what the designer is or the label is. So, so far there are four different kinds. Uh, here are some more of these. There's one more of those, two more of those. Now remember we paid, well I paid $7.99, $8 for this bag. Um, oh, sorry. There's another one of these. So right now we're at four of those. There is, okay, so this one looks a little bit different. So this is the same style as this one, but this looks like hammered. This is hammered and this is hammered, but this looks like brass and this looks like silver. So I don't know if those are gonna go together. Another one of these, so we're at five of those. Uh, here's another one of the hammered, um, Brass, that's the word, words are hard. Here's another hammered brass one. So I have two of those. Here are two of these. So now we're at three. I'm good with if we have something that's two or if we have four, like two, four, six, eight, something like that. Now these look like the, the hammered silver. So if those go together, those kind of look like they go together. Um, I'll put those over there. I'm not really sure if they're from the same set because see how tarnished these are? 
this one is not very tarnished, so maybe it's two different sets of those. I don't know. And I'm wondering, you think that somebody donated all these, or do you think Goodwill just made a bag? Let me know what y'all think in the chat. Okay, um, I'm going to pull out a couple. Well, these don't match, but this one is a brass hammered one, so that's three. And then there's this one that makes this four, so that's good. Here are two more bird houses. Those are super cute. I just like those. So that gives me three of those. Um, almost to the bottom. I've got two more of these. So that is, oh my gosh, four, five, six, seven. There's still more in here. Now, uh, I don't even know how many that we got. I'd have to do the math, which I'm not going to be very good at on a Saturday because it is Saturday before you see this video that I'm filming this. Um, there's another brass. So that gives me four so far of these. Um, and brass ones do pretty well. Okay, these look like the silver. These look like the little hammered silver kind. More... And then, and there's two more of those. So honestly, these all look, all right, there's another one in that bag. It looks like a birdhouse. But so right now there are six of these with kind of the same tarnishing, right? You can see those. So there's six of those. And then there's two of these. So what do y'all think? So there's a little bit of tarnishing. Do you think I should separate and do these two alone? Let me know in the chat what y'all think. Um, or if you're watching the replay, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these. these it, something's got my nose itching. Um, so I'm thinking to put these two. I don't know. They might all polish up, though. You think I can polish them up to all be the same? Because these two have the same patina, amounts of patina on there. So that's two. And then we had six of these. And I would put these six together. So I'd have a set of six and a set of two. Um, the last one in the bag is a birdhouse. So I ended up with four of these darling little birdhouses. And I think... Uh, let me know what you think below, but, oh, my nose is itching. Um, I think you could get about $3 each for these. So, a, these could be $12. So, if you buy or sell napkin rings on Etsy or eBay or in your booth or whatever, let me know because I'm thinking since these, these are wooden, they are wooden, um, and I'm thinking about $3 a piece. So, selling the set for... 12. You think I should sell the set? I don't know. I'm asking you a lot of questions. But you think I should do four for 12 or put them at $2, uh, $3 a piece? Should I put them at $3 a piece and let people get two if they want two and four if they want four? Um, let me know what you think. But I did get four of those. For these, uh, I just don't know how these would do. I, I could probably do like Two dollars, maybe. What do y'all think? Two dollars each on those, and two dollars each on these. Uh, so that would be that would be twelve for this tarnish set. Twelve for the tarnish set of six, and then six dollars. No, four dollars. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. Then I didn't I say two? I think two dollars for this set. Let me know, do you think that's underpricing them? Do you think that's overpricing them? Or do you think I should try to clean these to make a match? Y'all let me know what you think. Let's talk about it, shall we? Um, because I know that a lot of people don't have the means to clean them or don't know how to clean them, but if they were already shiny, they, they may buy them. But I'm thinking maybe $2. Okay, for the brass ones, I think now, if Christine, if you're watching, leave it in the chat, put it in the comments, something. But I think for these, they go between four and six dollars on up to eight dollars a piece. Um, so you could settle on five dollars a piece. And because they're brass and it does say made in India, it does have the sticker on them, the whole nine yards. 
um, I would probably put these a little bit higher as I would these because these are hammered. They're also thicker. So these would probably be at least 20 to 24 for the set of those. Um, and then I have no idea how many of these that I actually ended up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven of those. I'm looking at the little spout because you see like this one is rusted. So I want to pick the ones that are not rusted. So it looks like this one is the only one rusted. So I could probably put this with a little plant in it on, I can just use one. Um, and since it's kind of rusted right here, I mean, I guess I could clean it. I mean, I might, but seven is an odd number, right? So I could put a little air plant or a little faux succulent or something in this on a little springtime tiered tray and that would be cute, which you could use all of these for. And then I have a set of six. There are six of these, which is super cute, especially for like a little garden party or outside on the patio. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering how the napkin goes through here. Like, do you set it to the side? Do you fold it and put it? Okay, y'all, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna pretend here. So would you fold and put the napkin like this and just let it sit on the table? You know how it would be fan folded up like this? You could do that. That would be super cute. And they could just take the napkin out of that. That would be a nice, cause I don't think that it would look good like this. Do you laying down? Yeah, no. So I'm thinking um, $150 to $2. What do y'all think? Y'all help me price these in the chat or in the comments. Would you choose, would you charge $1.50 for each one of these or $2 for each one of these? Um, so let's check it out. First of all, we paid $8. I'm probably going to have to do some math. So yikes. Hold please. We had $8. And we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27. Um, so what is that? Like, I don't know, 30 cents each, y'all? I have no idea what that is. If I do times three, um, it's probably about, I don't know, 30, 40 cents each. Gosh, who can do the math? I don't know how much it would be. I, if I can figure it out, I'll put, I will edit to put that below. Um, so all in all, I mean, $8 for all of these, uh, even if they were 50 cents each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you, you, even if they were 50 cents a piece, it's worth that. But if I'm gonna charge that, if this set would be 12, and then even if I did a dollar fifty, that would be six seven fifty. Now we're at nineteen fifty. Um, probably what do we say about these? Like two dollars each. Six. Uh, so that's another twelve dollars and two dollars each for that is six dollars. Yeah, and then. Yeah, y'all, because these would be $5 each and these would be $6 each. So this right here is 24. This right here is 20. Um, so I think that you I probably double or tripled the money from the bag. What do y'all think? I mean, I know my math is fuzzy. I don't have a calculator handy for me to do it all because I'm using my phone. Um, but I think that was a pretty good deal. What do y'all think? Definitely, I'm interested in you helping me price because you are either resellers or you are people that buy um, items. Uh, so let me know what you think about those. These, I think, are my favorite. So I don't know. The, this is really cute with the idea of saving this one to put like a flower in. But I think these are probably my favorites. That would be super, super darling. I think those are my favorites. Which ones were yours? Let me know in the comments below. I know that Christine, when I was talking to her, was like, girl, the brass, the brass, get the brass. <laughs> um, but I didn't realize how thick and heavy that these were. So that's all that I got at the two Goodwills. I think I spent, 
not even $30 that day. And the bags have been pretty good. Um, I will link another video in the iCards and in the description below where I got a, another goodie bag recently. It was a recent video um, and it had like all these dogs and stuff and I found a Fenton cat, y'all, in that goodie bag. So yeah, that was good. Um, I did kind of flip this a little bit. They don't like for you to open it, which I can understand because people take stuff out. Um, but I did kind of make the bag tall and kind of flipped it around but i couldn't tell if anything was broken or you know if how many of their of each was in there so i think that was pretty good so of the like i said of these i think these are my favorite um i really don't know because the mirror that's a good one i love the squishmallow and this little lady right here she's cute um, but the purse is pretty awesome too. So I think for 30 bucks, I did really well on at two Goodwills on one little quick day. Um, so I am going to show you, I still have some time. We've only been on about 25 minutes. Also, don't forget if you haven't given a thumbs up, go ahead and do that. If you have not subscribed, I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family. I'm getting closer and closer to 2000. Um, and I want to thank all my new subscribers for coming on and joining my little YouTube family. Uh, I love to share what I get and I love to get great deals. So the next thing that I'm going to show you actually was probably free because it's been sitting in the bottom drawer in this container. Now, I think that I have some embellishments and things where I was making um, vases and, and little wreaths and stuff. And so I was looking because if you can see at the top, it looks like I've got some buttons or pins. So I opened it up, y'all. I think these, these are brooches. Look at the little Christmas brooch. It's now, this is a newish kind and I'm sure it came from, oh, this came from Joann's cause it has Joann's on the back. So, but that brooch is darling. And then look at this one, the little reindeer. These have just been sitting in my drawer. <laughs> I could have been selling those at Christmas time. But also I wanna show you down in here, I remember doing a, a craft, we used to have Pinterest parties and I had one at my mom's house one summer when I went back home to visit and I told people, bring me all of your broken jewelry. And what we did was make um, magnets out of old earrings and brooches and things and they were just really cute. Now I know I'm gonna need my glasses for this because I think some of these, I see one that has a mark. I don't have my loop with me, so we're just gonna have to look at the glasses. Um, the one that I see the mark on is, I don't know, that might say Kato. I can't, I know you're not gonna be able to read that, but right there. But look at this Hawaiian snowman. Oh, I dropped it, sorry. Gotta put my fingernail in it. So look at the little hula snowman right there with the palm tree and the flower and the sunshine. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. So that would be a cute little brooch. This would be great for a craft. And I'm, I'm looking at these because I would like to use them in a picture. I do wanna have enough jewelry, which I probably have, to make one of the pictures. Um, and so I've kind of been saving up. I talked to a lady and she said she had to have over a hundred Christmas brooches to make her Christmas tree. Now that's a lot. I don't think I have a hundred Christmas brooches that I wouldn't want to like use or wear or something like that. But I thought um, I could take this part off right here um, and put Santa at the base of a tree or something. That would be cute. But this is just like a little wood or resin piece. Uh, what else? This one is, I think this was on a necklace. So that one's pretty. That's a little craft piece. I could put in a craft lot. I do have a bag of craft lot stuff that I have started. This one is not marked, but this says believe with the, it's a silver tone. And I thought that was super cute. Um, what else is in here? Oh, here's a little angel. Now this one is what Dolores calls a twofer because it's a pendant and a brooch, but it's a little silver tone 
Angel. That's cute. Those are super sweet. Um, what else? Oh, look. This is a frog. Now, there's a mark on that one, and I don't know. I don't, again, I don't have my loop. Sorry. I just found this a few minutes ago, and I thought, let's go through this live. Well, kind of live. We're live in the chat, huh? So, this is another, this is a frog brooch. Look at that frog brooch. And he's got the little jeweled eyes, and he's got some great texture. Now, this is smooth, but it looks like it's got some enamel painting on there. That is darling, little hippity hop frog. Uh, what else is in here? Here's a snowflake. That's pretty. A little silver tone snowflake. Now there is a there is some writing right here. Again, don't have my loop. Sorry. Uh, but that's pretty. That would be good in a picture. Here is, I'm sure this was mine because I'm sure a child gave it to me. This is it looks like pewter. And it says, I love to teach. And it looks like it's pewter. So yeah. Oh, my nose is itching. So I thought that was cute. Um, what else? More Christmas. I don't know where all these Christmas brooches were, but I guess stuck down in here. Here's a Noel. That's pretty. Got the little candle right here and the holly on the bottom. That's super cute. Now, none of these are particularly old, I don't think. Um, now, this one has Wendell August Handmade something else. I can't. It's it's a two for two. It's got the uh, pendant and the brooch. And this one, I think, definitely is pewter. Uh, but it has. This is just like some school books and bell. Now. It has a bunch of writing here. I'd have to look at it. This one says reading science, arithmetic, and history. Oh, can I hold it in my nails? That's a really cute one. That's super cute. But it would be good for a, a pendant too. All right, let's see. There's a few more. This is just like a, I don't know. It's some kind of, I guess it was a clip-on earring at one time. I have no idea. But it's on just a flat surface back here. So, but that's cute. Little vintage. This definitely looks a little bit older, this piece right here, but that's not a brooch or anything. This is a cat brooch. Now, this is a thin metal. This is like, it's, um, what is it? Pressed, embossed, molded, maybe? I can't remember. Um, and there is a mark underneath the pin. Can y'all see that underneath the pin? But look at the detail. That is really good. The detail in that is super cute. With his little eyes. Look at his little eyes. That's cute. I like that one. Uh, this one is another cat one. Gold tone, no marking. This is a little cat brooch. That's cute. Gold tone. Two cats, who knew? Um, these I know are vintage, but I think that these might have come from one of the ladies that um, came over to do the Pinterest party. But yeah, a lot of people will uh, use these for magnets. This is a little tiny snowman with the acrylic. You can tell those are a little bit, those are a little bit older. So there's that one, that little snowman, another Christmas. This one is something designed China. This is a lapel pin. Bob, ugh. Bob, girl, what does that say? Simon designs China. I don't know. Bob somebody. Bob, you made a good one. It says, Jesus is the reason for the season. And I remember wearing this one. And it's just like one of the little lapel pins. So, I mean, if you didn't want to wear it as a pin, which would be great, you know, those blue jean jackets with all those little scatter pins are coming back. Um, we were going, we were popping off the piece right here, the little pin, and we were putting a magnet. Um, and then you could use it on your refrigerator, your file cabinet. But yeah, Jesus is the reason for the season. That one's older. Don't have very many more. 
but a little another little scatter pin and this one's silver tone this was a little bit newer but it's just a little snowflake those would be super cute on a jean jacket though um this one is an art piece like an art gallery piece i think it's a uh, ceramic and it's been painted and glazed so that's just a little pin but cute reminds me of the world almost or the ocean but it's cute it's a little round one and let me see uh here's another one this is a snowman this one is silver tone let me put the pin back in there and you know you could either put your glasses right here do people do that is that what they do for these i don't know can you use that like that to hold your glasses or maybe a scarf isn't that a shame, y'all? I got two pair of glasses. Mm, 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 mm. Still can't see. All right. But this one's really cute. You could put a little scarf through here, or I, I think your reading glasses, you know, so you can't, you don't have to go like this and look for your reading glasses. Um, and then just two more things, which I think these, they're, I think they're vintage, like 80s vintage, but these are earrings. And I bet these were my mama's. If my mom is watching, mom, were these yours? So it's a little faux pearl. See the little faux pearl and gold tone. These are pierced earrings. Um, I do not see a make or marker that I can make out uh, on the back. But, I mean, that definitely looks 80s. Definitely looks 80s. So, but there is two of those. And then these, y'all, these are actually... I think these are Monet. I want to say that these are Monet. And I don't know. These might have been mom's too. But so they are just like a faceted little CZ or something, but with the gold tone. And they are post as well. Yeah. So these are really, really cute. I just need to put some backs on those. Probably sell the earrings, and then if they don't sell, add them to the craft a lot. Um, but I, I like the earrings a lot. I think the most interesting one was probably the cat head right here. It's just thin. So if you know something about this, let me know. But the detail is really great in that. So I did get two cats. Um, I mean, it was just weird that I had this. I mean, these are brand new. I like the frog. I like the frog. Which one was y'all's favorite? Let me know below. I mean, I I have a lot of jewelry. I don't have a lot of brooches. And I did let Dolores go through some of the stuff that we have not shown yet. Um, and she picked just a few. I thought she was going to pick more, but um, she only picked one or two uh, that she could that she could use or wanted to have. But I thought it was really neat that I found this in the bottom drawer and decided to let's dig through it. But speaking of jewelry, y'all are not going to believe this, but my friend Hetty brought over four more boxes. Now, they're different size. Some are small, and one of them is pretty big. Um, one of it is just she's already put it in bags, and it's all new either earrings or sets, like earrings and necklaces. It's a whole box of it. She just has it filed like that. Another one she hasn't gone through, and I can't wait to dig through that and see what we can find. And Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry, I will link her channel below. She and I usually go on Sundays during this time frame, 1130 Central, 1230 Eastern, to do a jewelry haul because if you've not been here before, um, my friend Hetty used to be a reseller. She's no longer reselling and as she's cleaning out, she's finding all this jewelry and she is giving it to me um, and one to resell, to donate, to do whatever with. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be making some jewelry jars or some mystery boxes, if you will. Um, but one of the things that we do during the hauls is if you see something that you're interested in and the chat helps us identify and price, 
the um, pieces. So on it, we I show it, I give the measurements, I'll tell you anything I know about it. Dolores in the chat, they usually help me like tell what kind of stones or tell me, check and see if it's acrylic or whatever, uh, or if they know anything about the maker, if there's a mark or something. And then together, Dolores in the chat and I, we price the item for sale. Now, if you want to get a jump on it, you can claim that piece of jewelry, multiple pieces if you'd like, because anything claimed during the jewelry hauls that Dolores and I do, all of that money goes in an envelope that is right back here. And this goes to a nonprofit called Lunches of Love. Now I'll put Lunches of Love information below, but the short of it is that it is a nonprofit organization that provides sack lunches um, during breaks like spring break like this one. They are providing a lunch every day, Monday through Friday of this week, and then a weekend edition on Friday for those children and families who depend on free lunch and free breakfast in our county. Um, and so it is a worthwhile cause. I have been there and um, volunteering for a really long time. I don't get to volunteer as much as I want to, but um, my way of giving back now through Hetty is she does a lot of work with them. They, Her and her boys decorate the bags that it goes to and things like that. So what we're trying to do is if you see a piece um, at the hall and you wanna claim it, 100% of that, all the monies, 100% of it. So if it's $14, $14 goes directly to Lunches of Love. Now, the last time around Christmas, I was able to give them about $380. Um, and I've got a few sales already. Um, but because Dolores was, I had to look and make sure the tags were in there. But because um, Dolores was here in Texas um, and she was traveling and I had a show. We haven't been doing them as often, but we will be getting back to that very, very soon um, so that you can help support Lunches of Love. Um, and then I provide the ship, the, like you pay the shipping on it, but I provide all the shipping materials. Um, that's my donation. Hetty donated the jewelry. So it's a win-win for everybody um, involved and you get some really beautiful pieces. So we would love for you to join us for those jewelry hauls. Look on our community tab and on Instagram. Here's my Instagram right here, at Sweet Treats and Pre um, it all of our promotions of upcoming videos and things like that will be there. But it is a worthwhile cause, and we would love to sell a lot of jewelry. One to make sure to make sure that Lunches of Love gets some money, and also to move this jewelry. I have over a thousand pieces and she probably just brought me another 300 pieces. Um, and so the more we can sell benefits lunches of love. So I'm super excited about that. Otherwise, the jewelry shows up in live sales or in drop sales. Now I do have two jewelry sales coming up, y'all. I have one is a drop sale. I wanna say it's on the 22nd. I could be lying to you, but look for the promotion. Angela at Dear Angela's Vintage is hosting a jewelry drop sale hop and everybody will be selling jewelry. So that should be really, really fun. Um, I do know that there will be a few mystery jewelry jars. I may even have one. I'm just going to look through what I have. Um, and also, I want to say the second Sunday. I can't remember. I'll put it right here what the date is. I am scheduling a Easter jewelry sale. Um, and so you're getting ready for all your pretties to go to Easter. That's when a lot of people go to church and have family functions. Um, and so I've picked a bunch of springtime, very pretty jewelry, and we're going to have a live sale for that. So I'll put the date right here and the time. It will be here on my channel. So again, hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. So a lot of information today and a little bit of time. I've had two Goodwill hauls. I had a random something that I found in my drawer and I gave you some information about some sales. Um, look for a video every Tuesday on this channel and um, it's mostly thrifting. I did go to an estate sale, so that video is coming up. The estate sale was massive, so I did a shop along and then the following week I showed you what I got. Um, but my internet should be working tomorrow, y'all. Everybody say a prayer, fingers crossed smoke signals, whatever you do. 
I need my internet to work. They are coming tomorrow between 9 and 11, um, and I will be going live sometime next week um, to go through the three boxes from my friend that she dropped off at my doorstep of things that were at her mother's house or her grandmother's house or things she had when she was little that she is getting rid of, and she wanted to pass them on to me in hopes that I could pass them on to someone who collected or loved them. So I'm excited about that, and we will be doing that live. So I'm super excited for that. So thanks so much y'all for coming. I know it wasn't a great big haul. It was a lot of information, but I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you hanging out in the chat with me. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up as you're leaving. I know that usually um, there's several sales. I think Alex might have a sale on Sunday. Reclaim Treasures by Mary tends to have a sale on Sundays as well. So y'all, there's lots of sales to go through today to collect some awesome vintage and other things. So thanks so much for watching again. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.